Welcome back to the Airbnb Chess YouTube channel. In today's class, we are going to learn how to make this beautiful tear skirt with elastic band and belt. It has three layers, as you can see, and it has an elastic at the waistline, which makes it adjustable and very comfortable. And it has this beautiful belt as well. It's a very simple tutorial and beginner friendly. If this is something you like to learn. Kindly stay tuned to the end of this tutorial. Thank you. So there are several ways you can actually make this tear skirt. You can make it in a full circle form, you can make it in a half circle form, and you can also make just like I'm making it in a straight form. Okay, the reason I like this straight form, I like how it comes out at the end of the day, it's very uniform. And then the main reason why I prefer to make this like this is because it doesn't consume so much fabric, okay? I'm using just three layers and I'm going to be having three layers. And these three layers of fabric is going to be enough for me, which I may not be able to get if I'm working with a full circle flare, okay? And it's not going to even have any joining. So this is why I'm using this method. If you'd like to see a tutorial on other method as well, let me know in the comment section. So like I said, this is going to be in three layers. So I'm going to be dividing this in three layers, okay? I have three layers, just like I explained. I just folded three layers to what my camera can take. So this is three layers by 45 inches, which is the length of my Ankara. So it's going to be in three layers. The total length that I want for this skirt is going to be around 20 to 21 inches. That is how long I want my skirt to be. So from this 21 inches length, I'm going to have two inches for my band. Two to one, two and a half inches for my band. So if I deduct two inches from 21, I'll have about 19 inches, which means the two, the longest of this skirt is going to be 19 inches. Okay, I hope you understand that. So now from these three yards, I'll go ahead and cut out the 19 inches. You can add similar ones to yours, but I don't want the skirt to be too long. Remember, it's going to be a full skirt, so I don't want it looking shabby. I want it to be as short as possible. So I'm just going to go ahead and cut out the 19 inches at this day. So you can see from the upper part now, I'm measuring and I have 19 inches here. So once I get to this 19 inches, make sure your fabric is well folded. Nothing is packing under. I'm going to go ahead and mark it on that point and then I'll cut out this 19 inches so that is going to be the longest for my skirt then I'll keep it so the same three yards I'll go ahead and mark the next one so you decide remember I said it's in three layers and the first layer is going to be shorter than the second the second is going to be shorter than the longest which is what you have cut out so we have the first and second layer to cut so for this i cut out 19 inches so for each of my layers i want them to have about six inches difference in between so now if i've cut out 19 and i can't six upwards i'll have one two three four five six which means the next one i'm going to be cutting it on 13 inches so here now i'll go ahead and mark my 13 inches here and then after marking the 13 inches i'll make that into a straight line as well and then i'm going to cut it out so now this is me cutting out the second layer okay so now this is the second layer and now i'm going to cut the last so for the last layer same three layers of fabric I used 13 inches earlier and I said I want 6 inches in between. So I'll mark 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and that's 7. So here I'm going to go ahead. It's going to be quite small and then I'm going to mark 7 inches. I can add half an inch to that so that I can be a little longer. And I'm going to go ahead and mark this out. So this is going to be my first layer. So now I am done cutting out the skirt. So what I have left over here is about 5 to 6 inches is what I'm going to be using to cut my band and my belt. So I'm just going to keep it. So bringing it together now you will see this is the 19 inches which is the longest. This is the 13 inches and this is the 7 and half inches. So you can see how the layer is going to be formed. So now what you're going to do is to first go ahead and hem the lower part okay that's the you hem one side which is going to be your lower part so i'll just sew it very tiny because i did not leave so much allowance so i'll go ahead now and hem all of them on the hem line 
so after hemming the lower part the next thing i'm going to do now is to lay them on each other so the first one is going to be the longest which is the 13 19 inches length and then the next one this process is this space is actually not important but it makes it easier for you to work with the three of them so i'll lay the three of them on each other like this i hope you can see okay this upper part is going to be my waistline and then i'm going to go ahead and join them i'm going to join them together so that they can be one single piece so i'll go ahead now and do this i've gone ahead to hem the lower part of the three layers you can see and then i held them together with a stitch on the waistline okay the next thing now to decide how you want to finish your band there are two ways you can do this you can make it in you can cut your band in excess and then you're going to gather it back to your actual waistline with the help of an elastic i'm using this to remember i said my band is going to be around two inches so i'm working with this two inches elastic you can see it's two inches so i'm just going to be let my band be a little a little more than this maybe two and quarter or exactly two inches but you don't want it to be lesser than these two inches you want this elastic to have enough room to stay so you can either do that or you cut it in your actual size and then you're going to wear it with a zipper so whichever one you want to work with i'm going to try to explain it as much as i can so now we have this joint together now and this upper part is going to be on our waistline i remember we started with a fabric of three inches three inches is around a hundred is over a hundred a hundred inches three yards sorry we have three yards here on our waistline and that's about 108 inches or so the waist i'm working with is just 32 inches and here i have a hundred and eight inches before me so to make it if you're working with an elastic you can cut an elastic of this actual size as well and then you sew it around and gather with and gather with your you can cut a band sorry a band of these three yards as well you sew it around it and then you gather it back to your size with your elastic but i don't want my band to be so wide even despite the fact that i'm working with an elastic so for me if i'm working with an elastic i'm just going to multiply my waistline by two or one and half even so if i multiply it by one and half i will have about 45 inches okay which is what i think i'm going to do so now i have cut out this fabric is 45 inches in length excuse me you can see half 45 inches here and then the width is going to be around six inches five to six inches so that by the time i fold like this i'll have two and a half inches if it's five inches and if it's six inches i'll have three inches okay so i folded this into two and i have about three inches this is the elastic i'm working with so you can see that i still have enough space to sew it that even if i sew with half an inch my elastic will still have enough don't make it too much but at least let it be able to accommodate your elastic so i have four and 45 inches here and remember my waistline still remains is still 108 inches so the first thing i'm going to do now is to gather my waistline to these 45 inches that i'm using for my band that's because i'm working with an elastic so if you want to work with a zipper what you just need to do now is to cut out your exact waist measurement which in this case is 32 inches and then you just leave one inch on both sides for your allowance for your zipper allowance so that's like cutting 34 inches and you're going to gather your waistline to that 34 inches but because i'm working with an elastic and i don't want the band to be so wide as well so i'm just cutting out 45 inches and then i'm going to gather my waistline manually the stitch that i used to hold them together is a gather stitch actually so i'm going to gather all these three to 45 inches carefully then after gathering to 45 you can see it's ripping so you have to be very careful because they are actually three they are in three piles so it's not going to be so easy for you to gather but i'm going to try as much as possible to gather this to 45 inches then after gathering it to 45 inches I'm going to sew on my band to it and then I'm going to remember 45 inches is still not my waist measurement so after sewing the band I'm still going to go ahead and use my elastic to gather it now to my actual waist measurement so now what I'm doing is gathering this to 45 inches carefully like I said carefully so you can see me gathering it after gathering it I'm going to bring it back for us to see what it looks like 
so i have gathered this you can see what we have here now so this is 45 inches what i'm going to do next now is to bring in my band and then i'm going to go ahead and sew it like this first before i turn it over so after sewing it this has a belt so depending on how long you want your belt to be i have gone ahead to cut my belt and i have turned it as well mine is around five inches so after folding and sewing to turn i have about two inches like this so to the on the other hand i just shaped it in form of a belt so you do well to iron it so that it can be as neat as possible so what i intend to do is to hide this belt at my center back so i'm going to sew it like this on each end I don't know if you understand what I'm saying. What I want to achieve is by the time I sew this two in, I want the belt to, to be hidden. The tip, the rough edges of the belt to be concealed inside inside this band. Okay, so I'm going to sew each of them to each end. It is two belts. I have two belts here. I'm going to sew it to each end. So I'll go ahead and sew this now and bring it back so that we can understand it better so the the band is sewn now you can see i have sewn one side of the band to it and then on each hand like i said i have sewn my belt so you can see i just left a cap on it because the belt is kind of smaller than my band so you can see that the belt the belt is sewn here and for the other side as well i sew the belt like this so what i'm going to do now before i close up this band is to make this a single piece remember the center back is still opened and i'm not fixing the zipper if you are fixing the zipper to yours you will need your center back to be open so that your zipper can go through but in this case i'm not fixing a zipper so what i want to do now you can see that my band is still up i have not folded it you can see it's still up like this so i'll go ahead now and close the center back just like this together with the band so after closing the center back this this um this belt must have been tucked in it's going to be neat on the outside so after closing the center back that is when i'm going to fold my band over and sew round so after sewing it round now you leave a small space so that you can pass your elastic through it i hope you understand that so i just thought to show us this you can see i have gone ahead to sew it at the back can see this is the center back sewn and the elastic and the sorry the band is sewn together with it not folded yet this is my belt you can see my belt is coming from the center back so if you're using a zipper for this your belt is just going to be by your zipper side you're going to find a way to sew it in a way that is going to be concealed okay so these are the two belts coming like this then after this now what i'm going to do is to go ahead and fold my band you tuck your belt inwards and then you fold your band and sew it round so after sewing it round you leave a space to insert your elastic so i have gone ahead to sew it you can see that the skirt is very neat when i was sewing the back i used french seam so you can see everywhere is neat this is the center back this is the band area my belt is suspended in between here and this is my belt outside here and it is neat both in and out so now i left this space to turn my elastic to insert my elastic this is the elastic the waist is 32 inches like i mentioned depending on how fitted you want it to be and how much your elastic stretch i think i'm going to deduct five inches from that and that's going to leave me at around 27 inches thereabouts and if you want it really fitted you can make it even 25 so here i have 25 inches i'm just trying to stretch to see how much it stretches and it stretches very well so i think i'm just going to cut it on 25 inches because i want it to be really firm so after cutting the 25 inches i'll keep the rest and with my safety pin i'm going to insert this elastic sorry i'm going to insert the elastic and then pass it all around start inserting it from where you left for passing which is here and then i'm going to pass it all around carefully so i'll do that now and then i'll bring you back to show us what it looks like so I uh, first the elastic you can see my elastic you can just go ahead and still sew on the elastic by stretching and sew if you want you can do that so this is the back this is my belt 
and this is what the front looks like you can see the layer so if you want the layers to be really obvious you can just mix fabrics you can use different fabric for the middle part so that it's going to be so obvious. but i really love how this gets turned out and like i said this method is very very where it manages your fabric for you basically you can even use two yards you can plan on the actual fabric that you want and you still have something beautiful this is three yards and this is what it gave to me so i'll take you to the mannequin now so that we can see what it looks like so this is our skirt on the mannequin you can see that i have tied the bit to the front you can also turn it and tie it to the back whichever one you choose is fine it's a very cute skirt and it's really beautiful as we have seen i hope you enjoyed making this with me kindly like comment and share and i'll see you in the next one bye